just to work on our open guard a little bit more, okay? Um, and let's go back to some of the basic sweeps. So even though you don't have hands, you should be attacking their base the moment they bring one leg up. Anytime they're down on one knee, they're always vulnerable to being swept that direction, okay? And the reason is because when leans on my guard, bring one leg up, you can see how close the silhouette is to that post, right? That's, you're not going to get any closer. If he sits back down, yeah, but now he's not driving in on it, right? But if he's trying to pass my guard and he's giving me pressure, he's very near that lead side post, so it takes very little energy to get a sweep there. So you should always be at least trying to off-balance him. Even if you don't get the sweep, it's going to set up your submissions, your takedown attempts, everything else. So let's just review two real quick basic ones that everybody should know. So he's in my guard, he brings one leg up. And again, my hips are always up. That's the other thing I'm watching when I'm watching you guys. I never want to see these hips on the mat. If you feel your butt on the mat, that should be an indication you're not transferring your weight, okay? So the first one, he brings a leg up there. It's just a sweep for that basic scissor sweep. I don't need his hand. It helps because he'll post, maybe. And if he doesn't post, that's great. I get on top like this. But you can still attempt the sweep, even though you don't have hands, okay? So let's look at that slow. My hips are up, he raises a leg. I turn and drop, this one is all the way on the ground. And this one goes right here. Notice that my um, ankle is above my knee, not this way. As soon as you go like that, your energy starts to go this way. You start to lose everything. It's like trying to do a thigh master like this. It doesn't work. As soon as I turn my hip over, now I'm using the strong part of my body. I'm using my hip to sweep them. And I'm just imagine that I'm going to drive my kneecap now into the mat. Okay? See how he falls? My foot is hooked onto his hip bone, and this is where I'd be going two hands belly down. He tries not to let me get on top, and I'm just going to circle towards that head, and I'm going to win that battle every time. Okay, so again, over here, my feet are very specifically the middle of my foot. He's on his hip bones, on that iliac crest. My hip is up, I feel him raise, I drop, this is all the way down, this is here. This is even in belly down to, to take top. Second one, your hook sweep. Similar in a way, my hip is up. Now I, now I come inside. Now I can do different things with this. I can push, I can put it here, I can put it here. For now, I'm just going to set it down here, just like I did for the um, scissor sweep. And I want to pull a little bit. So my hook goes inside his kneecap, and I'm pulling this direction. As I lift to sweep. And then that takes him over that way. Right? And in both cases, in both cases, ideally I would have this posting arm so he doesn't post on me. But even if I don't have it and he posts, see, we're still in a, we're in a good position there because we're off balancing our opponent the entire time. Right? Once you've done it a few times without the hands, you can go ahead and put hands in. He raises it up, just grab light with the scissor sweep. And then when we do the hook sweep, it's the same thing in the same hand, but if anything, I'm going to cross it this way. Right? So the scissor sweep, I want to keep them from posting here. The hook sweep, I actually want to pull a little bit this way, because what that does is that turns that shoulder a little more. So if I had both of Liam's hands, if I was going to do a hook sweep, he raises the leg up, I would cross his arms right here. That would be how I would, how I would execute that sweep. So a little bit different from scissor sweep. Make sense? So you've got scissor sweep, no hands, hook sweep, no hands. Do it a couple times let your partner do it. Then do it with the hands. Let your partner do it with the hands. And we're going to add a couple other things in a second. Okay, back and forth. Go ahead. Good. Now, you can keep switching back and forth if you haven't already. But let's add another tool, which is one you're going to be using all the time, especially when you're fighting. If we're hitting each other, then my number one thing, if we're here and Liam can hit me and I can hit him, my number one thing is, uh, is kicking him and disrupting his base. And I'm constantly going to be doing that all day long, all day long, right? And notice what happens when I do that, right? So my hip's up, so I've transferred my weight into him. I put my foot at the bottom of the knee and I kick it out. Watch what happens to his head. Boom, right there. And then that's where you can follow up with the other kicks. So taking out. The supporting leg is always an option for us, and you don't need any hands or anything like that. 
So over here, they bring a foot up, reach you just all the way down to the bottom, push it straight out. Kick, you can get on top, whatever you want to do, but just add that, taking out that posting leg now. Okay, go ahead. Thanks for watching. Uh, make sure you subscribe, hit the bell for frequent updates because we're updating this every week. And make sure you comment and like and share our videos. We appreciate it and we definitely try and respond to all the comments. And if you like what we're doing and you like the material, check out SPG University, SPGU, uh, and you're going to see a ton more uh, in, in much greater depth than what you see here on YouTube. Thank you very much.